Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about pull requests. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, quick questions. It's been a few months since I stated I started working at my company and I still, I'm still going strong in my studying. I finished some of the books like Clean Code, Clean Coder and Reading Articles etc. I noticed that during my PRs I tried to bring up some ways in which things might be slightly better but my points get dismissed even when I share articles and other reading material to get my point across. Do you think at some point it is useless to share things and thoroughly go through other people's code? By the way, I have three years of experience and my co-workers have the same amount of industry experience. I feel like I'm wasting my time and I just feel like approving PRs even if I know that people are following bad practices. So, um, this is one of those situations where a good old saying is very useful, which is two wrongs don't make a right. And this, is, uh, this thing that you are experiencing here is actually the main cause as to why the world looks like the way it is. It's the main cause why we have corruption, it's the main cause why all of this stuff is happening. It is because you have one person who is doing something that they should not be doing, which is in this case dismissing your comments and not you know, discussing things and so forth, ignoring you. Uh, and you as the person who is trying to do well, uh, you, are, you get demotivated. And now you will get one of my personal sayings, which is, why are you using other people as an excuse to be less than you can be? That's a Frederick original, uh, I hope at the very least, because I did make it up myself, I think. But it's probably just a flavor of what someone much older and wiser and probably deader than I am said at some point. Uh, and that is exactly my the thing that I want you to take away. Uh, in essence, you have to understand that the fact that you are being ignored is not a problem on your part. It's a problem on your co-workers part. And here's the reality of, well, it's a reality that you, sh you will probably find in many areas of life. S guys, some people do not care about doing a good job. Either it's because they're too lazy, too stupid, too, you know, meh. It, they don't care and they will never care. But that doesn't mean that you should allow that to make you worse than you can be. So the first thing that I like to say is that PRs learn this one thing about them. They are politics. In essence, they are politics. And it's, and it's, uh, been the, it's always going to be that way. So the best approach that I like to recommend to people, it's the approach that I use myself, is to always do a high quality PR, like always literally every single time always do it and that's because it is actually good for you and don't care if somebody ignores your comments just put it out there because here's the kicker guys if you have a history of really high quality comments high quality PRs and so forth and guys this stuff gets saved so not only are you getting better at reading code, understanding code, communicating your point and share, you know thinking about things yourself because remember guys, writing code is one way to get a, you know, get good at being a developer, but reading code is also a skill. It's also something that is useful to you. It's actually something that I myself try to do more and more because I found that I'm stronger in my coding than I am in my pull, in my reviews. And these are both very very important things to be good at. So by just being, you know, it, being it committed enough to actually push through the fact that people are ignoring your comments, you will be in a much better position. You're going to educate yourself, and when it comes time to figure out why the system sucks or who to fire, guys, some managers will not do this, and some, if you're really unlucky, you're going to have a a technical manager and a technical manager is going to know the same sorts of things as you guys do and they are going to go and look at your github history and they're going to go and have a little bit of a look when they're looking to fire somebody for excuses to fire whoever and 
You see, just because someone can get away with something doesn't make it right. It's actually that simple. It's it's exactly the same thing as if your neighbor is, I don't know, selling drugs out of his apartment. Does that mean that it's a good idea for you to do it too? Or are you just going to wait, you know, or, or, or is that person taking a risk with their future? That's exactly what your coworker is doing. Your coworker is less committed to doing a good job than you are. And unfortunately, in some cases, he's never going to get found out but he's always going to be worse off for it. And if he doesn't care about that, let that person do whatever he or she thinks is right. More power to you, more strength to you, more uh, job opportunities to you, because you are going to become the better developer over time. There's no that, That's a guarantee uh, if we just consider the mindset. So the thing I like to say as well is that all PRs, they start the same way, because this is the thing that always happens. It always goes. Uh, it starts by you having a discuss. You just basically put a comment on something, and then one or two th two things are going to happen. Uh, either you're going to agree that the person is going to comply, or you're going they're going to see your point, or you're going to have a discussion. And usually the discussion ends with whoever has the strongest argument wins. And this is the key thing: the strongest argument doesn't mean if you have a million articles doesn't mean if you know better or like you're preaching or so forth this is a uh, this is an exercise in politics as i said it's about who has the power the seniority the most reasonable uh, thing um, uh, like uh, reasonable argument etc etc and the good part is that even uh, just learn how to dance this dance because it is a dance and it's always going to be a dance because once uh, you get to a level uh, of seniority, trust me guys when I say this, I have had lengthy, lengthy discussions in pull requests that have lasted hours in like face-to-face -face meetings with a person who has literally just gotten out of their university, this is their first job, yet they are convinced that functional programming is what we should rewrite the whole system in and similar sort of claims and the thing is while that is happening although it might be frustrating to you to have to go over this a million times this is actually one of the main contribu contributors to why seniors become really old and bitter apart from incompetent management of course but imagine being this person who has like a million years of experience and you really know your shit and having like these junior profiles or these three years nothing experiences coming up to you and just telling you your business over and over and over and over or like saying the same thing as the other hundred people before them said and you have to explain yourself again and again and again and again so that's why this whole like and you're gonna do the same thing I promise you my friend you're gonna get to this point as well and you're gonna be just really tired of having these discussions and so forth but don't let it fester because if you can learn how to dance this dance without it causing you any problems emotionally because it's really is about you here it's about you emotionally being able to deal with right now that people are ignoring your comments and in the future they're also gonna some of them are gonna ignore your comments but in many cases, they're going to want to have a have a battle with you, and don't just don't let them have like a, this critical confrontation. Because if you can get to that level of emotional maturity, uh, emotional maturity, you're going to be at a CTO level. I can promise you that. And just as a general rule, don't try to force people to do things unless you have the power to do so and it's the right moment to do so. Because there's a lot of like, I don't need no. There's this like idea in some cultures and movies and so forth that yeah you just put your foot down and then you get your stuff done that usually doesn't work I can promise you that so what I want you to take away from this is that uh, if you have issues uh, or you feel demotivated because people don't listen to you in pull requests or things like that remember this one thing guys it's not your code base it's not your you know your co-workers code base either it is the company's code base and just because your co-workers doing a shitty job that doesn't mean that you should if for nothing else it's actually better for you to do a good pull request uh, like a code review always do a good one 
because you it's the same th it's the same difference as if your coworker is sitting at home eating chips and watching TV and you are studying diligently to become a better software developer it's the same process you are going to get better than this person if you do good code reviews and i promise you if you work in the wrong company, yes, sure, nobody's going to notice that you are doing good pull, requ uh, pull request uh, re code reviews. But it's going to show over time. And in the right company, people are going to notice. Trust me when I say this, when I manage teams, you think that I don't notice who of my, co my software developers are doing good code reviews and who are just clicking the approve button? It's great being underestimated uh, uh, by uh, the people that you work with because when they do that sort of thing they build uh, like they dig their own grave and that is exactly what your co-worker is doing so try to learn how to dance this dance because it is a dance and understand that it is basically just politics do a good job on your end present good strong arguments and practice 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 because you just if you just look at this as practice everything becomes much simpler for you and I promise you before you know it you're gonna get really good at this stuff people are gonna listen more to you as you gain more experience and you are going to set yourself up for a very bright and good career and at some point actually you're going to be the tech leader you're gonna be the CTO or something like that and when you have that sort of weight behind you most people are gonna to listen to you by deep because now you have authority but until that point learn to play the politics because it's going to serve you for the rest of your career have a great day